Welcome back Warriors, my name is Cosmo Jazz and today we are going to be doing a breakdown of the Tekken 7 trailer that was, bleh, the word I'm using, I don't know, but it was a showcase <laughs> at EVO. <laughs> As you can hear, I'm joined by a fellow guest and amazing Yoshi player, basically he runs the Yoshi Discord at this point as far as I'm concerned. Uh, my boy, Baker, say hi. What up? Now you see there, that's when they're punching. You have to pay attention to the punch. Now I'm just playing. <laughs> <laughs> like Bondo Namkai, always punch your opponent. <laughs> As you can see, we're having a bunch of fun here. Season one goodness. Mm-hmm. Geese, yeah boy. Knocked ass. Alright, and we start here with the bounce mechanic, as you can see as I've stopped. And it's very interesting that they added this, but a lot of people don't know that this has actually already been in the game with Geese. Uh, so now everybody has this mechanic now. Oh, doubling down on that. So remember that big-ass robot, Nancy, in Tekken 6? She had that mechanic as well. She sure did. And June from Tekken, uh, I'm sorry, Unknown from Tekken Tag 2 as well. One mm -hmm. of her moves had that bounce back as well. Mm -hmm. so I can't then... help but feel like, I can't feel like, I can't help but feel like just Sean Dunn is just bounce back should be playing in the background. I'm going to make a montage <laughs> of wall bounces and that's going to be the song for it. <laughs> I approve of this. Now, as you can also see with Claudio... Um, he has a new move there with that wall bounce and King's not really showing really new except the wall bounce thing itself okay so there's something I wanted to bring up that I actually saw on another channel I'm gonna plug in uh, main man here um, Gigas is what Gigas is doing right now and how do you slow things down on uh, YouTube uh, go to that screw. The video speed should be there. And you can turn it down to like point five or point two five. Wait, point five. Oh gosh, turn that off. <laughs> okay, so as you might have saw, uh, Leo did her quarter circle forward. Um, I think that's one. Yeah. Uh, and as he blocks it, he hits her with some kind of wall standing to knee punch thing, and that's definitely new for Gigas. He's never had that. So clearly, a lot of characters are probably going to get a lot of new moves, um, and there's probably going to be buffs. That's going to be buffs and nerfs and all that other stuff. Uh, what they may be is going to be interesting to see, but that's going to be really good because he really needed like a good wall standing hit uh, from uh, Crouch. And then we have this here, where Eliza is doing her Shoryuken into Super. Which is going to be nutty on um, combos because that's a lot of damage already scaling in itself. Which I do think, and Eddie actually brought this up too when we were talking about it uh, watching Evo. I think they're going to be nerfing damage now for these new mechanics and stuff. I think what they were doing was uh, like a total rebalance. I'm thinking they're changing, they're changing Tekken 7 to like Tekken 7 2.0. Mm -hmm. and with 2.0 it's like it's kind of like what Capcom did which is like the arcade edition except people will leave positive reinforcement for it exactly shots fired I know but that's what we're here for for the views man <laughs> I mean what what can you do at this point right <laughs> now but when I, oh, oh go ahead. sorry go ahead bro no go ahead uh, uh, shoot just do it man <laughs> just do it alright like Nike mm -hmm. uh I'm thinking they would have to nerf damage as a whole mm -hmm. just because that's a whole new arena. There's a whole new area for damage in mm -hmm. a game where if you tried hard enough, you can do a full death combo with almost every character. Mm -hmm. So, of course, damage would have to maybe not poke damage, but combo damage would definitely be scaled all the way the fuck down to compensate for these new, new comboing mechanics. 
Mm -hmm. So I'm thinking everybody's going to get changes. And when everybody gets buffs and nerfs, I don't consider that buffing slap birth the birthing holy shit oh uh, jeez buffing, <laughs> <laughs> buffing slash nerfing i consider that a rebalance mm -hmm. but even then i think that's what it'll be mm -hmm. which i mean so well go ahead also on, also in your screen now the main ran brought this up too but hey for three plus four with that punch berry that one mm -hmm. used to knock down in tag two and it knocked down in tekken seven but now that's a launcher yeah, I was just about to ask that because I was actually I don't remember that doing this, but that's why they showed it because mm -hmm. it would it would uh actually I don't know about Tekken Seven because I didn't play much Heihachi then, but I knew on counter hit that one. It also has a two with it, but that one on counter hit would launch as well, mm -hmm. and that's also something I wanted to add in as a crappy machine player. <laughs> hey, more knowledge the better, right? Also, this I'm I have beef with this. <laughs> what Bob Bob getting the belly the big bounce into the roll? Yeah, he doesn't need that. Come on, <laughs> Bob does not need that. <laughs> uh, yeah. for him for his fifty fifth, thinks he would probably need it. I mean, I can I can see okay, I can see that, but this thing now he has another thing to go into that stupid roll that can go higher, not high, uh, mid and low. <laughs> Yep, yeah, yeah, that's true. But the only other thing was a big belly that was launched punishable on block. Big whoop. Yeah, but I mean that belly did fucking damage. <laughs> that belly did damage, but all you have to do is wait. True. But most people well, most smart people, let's say that, won't do the belly if they don't hit the first part first. Yeah, mm -hmm. and dumb people will press a button, get hit by the belly. What's your point? <laughs> the point is Stay safe. But <laughs> 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 I also wanted to talk about this um, rage art. Finally, Steve is not going to have the worst. Ra well, he might. They might do two rage arts. I don't know. But he's not going to have the worst rage art in the game because that th that rage art was trash. <laughs> like if you didn't hit them in the wall, it, you couldn't use it. That's a rage drive, by the way. Did I say rage drive or did I say rage art? You said Rage Art like three times. Oh, well, Rage Drive. Either way, it's still going to be not the worst thing in the game. But... I still, but I, I think that's only going to... I only think Rage Drives are going to change for people whose Rage Drives weren't that good to begin with. Mm. I don't think Yoshimitsu is going to get a different Rage Drive at all. Because his Rage Drive is just a super Crouch Dash 2, baby. Oh my god. Which is... Well, I didn't see it in the Ana part, but... Uh, which is, I'm wondering, because since Lei has like a billion rage drives now, I wonder if they're going to start giving people two rage drives now. Mm, worse, uh, worse slash best case scenario, if a character has a stance that they can go into, maybe mm. they would get a rage drive out of that. But that's if, that's if Bandai Namco is going to get like really ambitious with it. Mm -hmm. To which I don't think, I don't... Uh, they won't even deem that necessary. Mm -hmm. Especially because Yoshimitsu has hella stances, but none of which he can really do a rage drive out of. Mm -hmm. So, speaking for my own, speaking for my own character, I don't see how it would work. Mm -hmm. Which is yeah, true. That's about it for me. That that's makes me. sense. And uh, so, of course, we got my girl Anna. Finally Hour. have uh, Hour. Well hey. <laughs> to be fair, you have Yoshi. You you can stay away. <laughs> you have your Japanese uh, hentai monster thing. Japanese hey. porn star. <laughs> so so you're telling me that I can't have a Japanese porn star, a favorite Japanese porn star, <laughs> a favorite waifu, and a favorite dude? No. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I have to respect women. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I may be a man, but you should respect my thoughts too. <laughs> That's 2019. We'll get there. But <laughs> and, uh, <I'm> fucking Rob. <laughs> you know, like Anna, for the most part, is doing Anna things instead of that. Um, for I think three two, instead mm -hmm. of uh, doing like a bound, it's now doing the the screw. 
that would be a solid change. And yeah. also, they would have to take some inspiration from the people who was working, who mm-hmm. was like, who was working on the PSP version of Tekken Six and changed it to Tekken Sevens mm-hmm. and everything too. And they used all the other characters and made screws for them. Mm-hmm. I'm fairly certain they may have taken some of that into consideration. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. They kind of made her. Oh no, that's not what I thought it was. I thought that was her uh, down back four four. Uh, it looks almost like it, but not. But it was kind of like her rage uh, drive. Nah. Her rage art is gonna be hard to hit, <laughs> like on raw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what there. really needs to change is uh, that rage art. Hmm. Because it seems like a, like a standing high kind of like that. Hmm. Because it's like compared to the only two characters I know for a fact who has a high rage drive like that. Oh, I'm sorry, a high rage art like that, like Jin or Steve. Mm-hmm. They get really invasive with it, whereas Anna is just like, like T Rex arm in it, just like. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like you gotta be hella close to that. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I don't see how that would work in a combo at all, unless they change the animation for it to maybe be mid and unsafe. Mm-hmm. high and unsafe but no matter how it's spun it would have to be like really invasive mm-hmm. and I don't think that move will cut it they may change that yeah I kind of hope they do because that's it has very low utility as right now yep yeah. but she makes up for it with bazookas so you know that's that she does <laughs> that is true <laughs> and the man lay Long. Now, I do kind of have a little beef with some people saying that he's looking less and less like Jackie Chan. Because if you really, if you've seen The Foreigner, which is the last movie Jackie Chan was in, he looks old like this. I'm sorry. <laughs> like, yeah, I guess the, I guess they forgot that Lay's been in the game since Tekken 2. It is now Tekken 7 and hella years done went by. How dare he have a beard? <laughs> right? <laughs> How dare he actually age like every other character in this game? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, it's like, okay, he's like, okay, cool. Ling is finally, Shao Yu's finally 18, so we can properly draw a hentai of her now. Yeah, that's all great and good. But Lei grows a beard and grows his hair out. What have you done? <laughs> you <Nah>. monsters. <laughs> now, I also will say his story is kind of trash. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Watching Lucky Chloe on TV, and she wasn't even a gravure model, bro. <laughs> miss me with all of that. <laughs> Seriously, how'd you pick up? Imp- maybe, maybe your blood pressure rises, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe you just enjoy seeing a kawaii girl with skintily clad clothing on walking around dancing and shit and you can see her underwear at every possible angle that doesn't motivate me to go into the king of iron fist tournament and start bodying niggas but what do i know i know right this is just uh mm, i mean so far i mean all of his rage drives are going to be mad dangerous <laughs> oh hell yeah oh but and f- thinking- fuck this armor move by the way i'm sorry but like People didn't think I didn't catch that. This armor move right there. Fuck that. <laughs> really? You, you're, you have, you're, you're against that? What about mm-hmm. Horong's backlash, though? Fuck that move, too. Uh, right, cool, right, cool. We're, on, we're on the same page. <laughs> but uh, that's going to catch so many people. Even pros are going to get caught off guard by that. <laughs> yeah. It makes you think. Mm. A lot of, like, the community got laid back. Reason still wants Lay to just die and sit down somewhere. <laughs> but look, I'm, I'm happy he's back. Mm-hmm. And I know we talked about this a million times, but for the sake of the YouTube video, I'm actually going to say this for the first time. I'm just happy that I feel as though I am in a mental state. I have the mental fortitude and the mental capacity to be able to play Lay Wulong at a proper level. Because back then I couldn't tag mm-hmm. two I was starting to get it maybe mm-hmm. but uh, since he's back now and I think the way that I think now I think I will probably be able to give this character a proper chance because I like the character mm-hmm. and I think that is awesome and I'm, I'm glad he's back 
because I've been playing Tekken on hard mode as of late, and this is going to be ultra hard mode, and he has a smile that I want to protect. Exactly. Oh, man. Yeah, I played a little bit of Lay back in um, Tag 2, but it was mainly for, like, troll purposes. There was, like, no real reason to, like, learn, learn him, because I never was going to actually really play him like right. that. But uh, this time, I think I actually, well, just for matchup base, I'm going to actually learn him just to know what I need to look for mm -hmm. uh, with this character. Now, here we get to this part, and Boopsy's going to miss this, because I'm actually going to make some character predictions right now. Feel free to add in yours as well. Um, I'm guessing the first one's probably going to be Julia. I mean, literally, that's kind of a given in my opinion. Um, the other two are the ones that's kind of iffy in my, uh, also in my opinion. Um, I'm trying to think of what I've been hearing from Comic-Con when they did the whole cheer for the character you want from back from Tekken Tag 2. Mm -hmm. Um, and apparently the main names I've been hearing are either Armor King, Kunimitsu, or Zafina. If, Z if, Zafina, if Zafina came back, I'd play her too. Hmm. I would actually play Zafina if she did come back, now that I think about it. I, and I'm thinking because uh, me, you, and our friends, I was trying to play Safina before uh, Tag 2 officially died. Mm -hmm. And people contemplated deleting me off their friends list for it. Jeez. <laughs> why? <laughs> because because Safina. That's why. I guess. What race is Safina, by the way? Egyptian. She's Egyptian. I thought so. Mm. I freaking thought so. Yeah, she's she's pretty cool. Uh, I've always kind of liked her style ever since Tekken Six. So I tried to learn it, but then it's just kind of like a tune was there. So why? Yeah, she, <laughs> like, like, come on! Like my main is here. Why would I play this character over mm -hmm. my own main? Boy, yeah. nobody ever thinks that. Mm -hmm. But but I will say, yeah, if Zafina if Zafina came back, I would play her too. I just in I play ended up playing like eighty percent of the cast just because I like eighty percent of the cast. Mm -hmm. Now a lot of people are just like, "Hey, you should bring." Uh, why don't you think that June's not going to come back for this season or whatever? And while I have heard a lot of things, don't get me wrong, I've heard a lot of things about June hype and all this other stuff and whatnot. Right. I. It's just a feeling. Like, I usually have, like, the feeling, like, it's just not going to be her. And if it is going to be her, she's going to be the last one before Negan. Think so, huh? Yeah. I'm, I'm thinking because... Hi, Maniac, and hi, Rowdy. Thank you for swinging by. Um, what I was saying, what I was thinking was... If June came back... Well, June, June wouldn't come back because lore-wise, she's doomed. Although apparently a lot of people have been pulling up a our interview that Harada said that she was just went missing, uh, oh, and, really? Ju and Jin thinks uh, she's dead. Right. But, fair, two fair points. But I mean, as far as character popularity goes, I think, I think there's just too many. There's too many people that are far more popular than June for June to come back. And see, I was thinking that too, until like, I, I remember seeing this uh, Event Hubs thing, which is Event Hubs, yeah, I know, but um, Event Hubs thing long time ago, where it was like saying what were the top five characters they wanted to come back for Tekken 7, mm -hmm. and the top five, well, two of them are right here, Anna and Lei, but number four was June. Oh. Hmm. And then the third one was Julia Chang, and the fifth one was... It was somebody who's already in the game. I can't remember who it was. Uh, okay. uh, I'll, I'll probably find that and post and post it up there uh, for uh, the others who want to see it. But yeah, I remember that like way back. It, it, it took me a minute to remember that because somebody had to bring it back to my attention. I was just like, okay. oh yeah, that's or, that is true. But um, I just I don't see it. I don't see it happening. Not this season. If they do it through season three. Then by all means, you know, oh, like like cool, but, yeah, cool. But like this one, not yet. Yeah, that's how you feel. Mm -hmm. I would, I'd say Armor King would be one. I just think, I think Julia or Michelle would be 
one of those slots like permanently because i say this on the sole fact that a chain has been in tekken since its beginning Mm -hmm. and you just can't wong's wong's not in the game wong's dead that's close that was like close to a chain but Mm -hmm. we don't have a proper chain Mm -hmm. we need a chain well tekken for the sake of continuity tekken needs a chain yeah and I mean, let me just say this right here and now so that pe- I know people are going to be angry about this because I already saw it on Twitter. Mm-hmm. I don't care about this thing, but these, this season passed, the legacy characters are not free. They're not free. <laughs> you have to pay for the season pass thing or whatever for the characters individually. Like I said, I don't care. <laughs> I have my character. I'm going to pay for it to support the game. <laughs> yeah. And I know a bunch of people are going to bring up Hey, Harada said this back in Tag 2, so he's going back on his word. Keep in mind, Harada is just one man. <laughs> and like, like okay. come on. Come yeah. on. <laughs> like if you I, I, I get it, I understand. Mm-hmm. But it's not like Harada is a member of EA. Exactly. Like and another thing is, like we've about to see, we have Negan. Negan costs money. I'm sorry. <laughs> Negan costs money. Negan's gonna have to cost money. Negan can't not be expensive. Exactly. So they they gotta have to pay this somehow. <laughs> I'm just glad we actually have a season two. Just saying. Like and that's and that's with that's with everybody shitting on the deluxe edition that we mm. got. Well, that I got mm. twice. And <laughs> I, I care a little. I don't care as strongly as I could. Mm. But at the same time, hey, I support the game. Like it, I feel as though I can give solid a solid amount of criticism because mm-hmm. I put the most amount of money into the game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not in the world, not in the world, mind you, because you know there's people getting banned off tech and buying like five copies. Of ch- I'm not those guys, but <laughs> I feel as though for somebody who put over. Near near two hundred dollars into the game. Yeah, I bet it's about that much. Yeah, like I put I put a nice chunk of money into Tekken mm-hmm. into Tekken Seven, but at the same time, I support the, I support the shit out of the series. This mm-hmm. is my only fighting game. Mm-hmm. And well, what can you do? Hey, no, cool. No, right. mm-hmm. Who like more? I the only thing that I the only thing I'm just absolutely just fucking done about. Mm-hmm. I have to do my punishment guides all over again. Yeah, but I mean, maybe you can just do like update, like because yeah. I mean, I'm sure oh, no, they're I'm not, not going to be changing. Well, unless they change a lot of frames or shit. Ch- <laughs> I didn't think about that. <laughs> or they wouldn't. They wouldn't change much in the vein of the long run. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Well, that's another question I'm wondering. When will this actually start be implementing? Because <laughs> I'm guessing. After um, World Tour. After the second World Tour? Yeah. Mm, that makes sense of a time frame. Mm. Maybe because you don't want to fuck up the uh, the people already getting points and stuff for that. It's like, okay, <laughs> now we have to learn a whole new game before we get there. All right. <laughs> Shit, we was playing Tekken 7 before they released on consoles. Why not? Like, what, what's, another, what's another struggle, right? Which is another fun thing. I'm glad you added. The, uh, you said that. I'm actually excited for Tekken now because this is going to be the first time since I want to say maybe five. It might be six. Somebody correct me. Where everybody's going to be on a level playing field. Like it's not going to be like the Koreans have the tech way before we do. <laughs> right. Like we're not at a massive disadvantage. Mm-hmm. Years, years down the road. Yeah, that mm-hmm. makes sense. Yeah, this, that's cool. Uh, yeah, that that when I thought about that, I was like, man, that's actually kind of interesting. <laughs> I kind of want to see what the tournament is going to be like after those. <laughs> mm-hmm. mm, I mean, shit. So long as we got a little manja, man, we're good, bro. I know, right? Mm-hmm. You know, actually, what I was going to do, and Moopsy missed it. Well, I was going to ask the chat and maybe yourself. Because a lot of people are like, oh, man, June can make it in. I just don't believe it. And I was going to bet that she was not going to be in here. <laughs> I'm not I'm not willing to bet just because I'm not a betting man. Mm. And we've known each, other, known each other long enough. I'm not always right. So I'm not going to put money 
on something I can be wrong about. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to legit bet money on a character being in the game or anything like that. I only, I only have, I only say June's doomed just because she's been missing since Tekken Two. Mm. Tekken Two doesn't count; it's not canon. Yeah, it's not canon. But she, but she, she's been gone for so long, and she's gonna come back at Tekken Seven. Mm -hmm. No, she'll come back at Tekken Eight. See, that's Over. another thing I was thinking. She would she's come back come in back Tekken, Tekken Eight. 8. Mm. Have her help her son win. Oh my God, Cosmo Bloodline, when. Mm. Jin and Jin and Shao, you have a child. It, it's happening, most likely. <laughs> it's, it's they're gonna have a child. It's gonna be great. Then the series continues. Jin becomes chaotic evil. Mm. Someone's gonna have to put him down. Who's gonna be the person to put him down? Horon. Either that or they reboot. <laughs> either that or, or either that or reboot. Yes. I'd be fine with either at this point. <laughs> this is take, this is, uh, story's gotten quite convoluted. <laughs> I don't think I don't think Armor King is going to make it into the game. Mm. See, I'm that. thinking the same because of how many moves he gave to King. Like, oh boy. it's just it would be too close of a character in my opinion. Then again, we have two bears, so <laughs> there goes that out of the way. <laughs> we have two bears in two different slots. Oh my God, you're right. All right, so Armor King confirmed. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Hell, why not add Christy in there? If I always say. <laughs> Fuck it, right? Although I've always thought that like those kind of characters, they should have just been in one slot in like in the old games. You just press a button and you change them to that character. Like, why can't you just do that? <laughs> I'm thinking mm. they forgot. Probably. <laughs> no. It's just like, why didn't you think of that? Shit. <laughs> no. I wish I knew. <laughs> But no, uh, I'll think of a bet for that later. But uh, I, I'm literally that, like, I'm so set on it, it's not going to happen that I'm literally re ready to bet on that. <laughs> but uh, I think we've gotten everything down for the this part, I believe. Uh, oh, yeah. Did you say you, who you think the three were? Oh, I think I, I spoke slightly about it. Mm. Definitely, I want to say, doubling down on Julia... Mm -hmm. Or Michelle, one of the two. A chain coming back. Now every the, everybody else is going to be a mystery. Mm -hmm. I can't. I if I if I had to pick one, who would come back? Maybe Ganryu. Really? Maybe. Hmm. Just because his fighting style is unique. Which is I've heard that actually uh, often now. So a uh, lot people are saying it. I guess just maybe. The only thing I have really to go on is the fact that he didn't get any, basically any applause at Comic Con. <laughs> he didn't get any. Not at all. <laughs> hmm. It's just not every day that you have a sumo wrestler in a fighting game. You know what I mean? Exactly. And honestly, other than Saint, I can't think of anybody else who played him. I know Ross would play him. Ross, this is Ross we're talking about. He'll troll with him <laughs> like he trolls the bears. <laughs> Yeah, you're right. Ross is an asshole. Armor <laughs> King. You, Graf keeps saying Armor King, and I'm like, nah, man. I can't. Not, not this one. I think he has a chance to make it in. Does he it's make my list? No. <laughs> yeah, I don't. I don't have shit for a list though. Mm. That, I, that I can't say. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh, what about Akira from Virtual Fighter? See, Main Man said something about that, and I did take that into consideration that maybe we might have two guest characters in this. Mm -hmm. And that would be interesting if we did. I'd, if I mm -hmm. if I had to add another guest character to the list, it would have to be the Dragon of Dojima, Kazuma Kiryu, man. That, see, and that's why I was actually, my mind first went. It's like, oh, people are asking about him so much. What if he's one of these people, and we just think they're all legacy characters? That's that's a that's a thought. Mm. And honestly, I feel like if it was him, he would be the second after Julia. I think. Yeah. I just don't mm. think I don't I can't think of a lot of fighters that would fit into the game very well. Mm-hmm. 
then again, not, who thought the fuck really. Noctis was going to be in there? So everything's up in the, the air same, at this choice. But at the same time, who the fuck would have thought Noctis? <laughs> <laughs> it's like every every time I get like some solid viable thoughts or evidence or whatever, it's like yeah, but they added knock this into the game. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> and honestly, but what about it? Mm -hmm. Like every time I bring up a good point, man, that's a good point. Yeah, but what about this? Yeah, <laughs> you're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely. It it definitely is all a crapshoot. Crapshoot. Mm -hmm. We don't need Tifa Lockhart. See, I would like Tifa Lockhart, and I would have liked her way more than Noctis, <laughs> but, uh... Yeah, but everybody prefers everybody over Noctis. Yeah, exactly. Um... Uh, Except me. I like Noctis. Yeah, well... <laughs> I like him in his game. <laughs> you like him in his proper game, yeah. <laughs> But just bringing them into the Tekken world, and it's like I don't even the beef. The beef isn't even with Noctis as a person or anything like that. The beef is just with Noctis being in Tekken and not Soul Calibur. Exactly. Now, it's just like wasted potential. It really was. It was right there. It was right there. <laughs> hey man, I don't. I don't make the rules. I just. <laughs> all right, but I got it. A chain. Kazuma Kiryu, and as far as the third goes, as as far as the third goes, man, I don't know, bro. Mm. I yeah. just don't. I got nothing. Mm. <laughs> that would be interesting, because it'd be like a female, a male, a female, a male. So if we went by that standard, wouldn't it be another female, and then another male? Maybe. <laughs> I was just thinking when you did that, it's like, huh, female male, female male. <laughs> we probably could go for more women, so. I mean, definitely. <laughs> All right, cool. Here's a random thought. Drebin from Metal Gear Solid 4. Boom. We in there. Well, I can't say no because of how the game, <laughs> how, what we've gotten. Who would have thought fucking Negan was going to be in here? <laughs> you right. <laughs> I'm just, but essentially, I'm just throwing things out into the fucking wind at this point. Mm -hmm. Although, if I had to think, I probably would be no, nah, because Konami hates games. Never mind. <laughs> what? What? Solid Snake or something? I would have said Snake, but like I was like, Konami hates games. <laughs> but Konami hates Konami. <coughs> Konami. No, I, ever since I've worked, ever since I started this new job, I've just been fine. Konami is just like killing it in the card games. <laughs> Fair enough. Like that's where their money is going. Mm -hmm. Just, just Konami is just fucking, just everything. Just Konami, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon, Dragon Ball Z cards and shit. Like it's just all over the place. Mm -hmm. No, why should be Terry Bogard since he's already in like two different games? <laughs> Terry no, no, Bogard in everything. If they, had, if they had to bring up a character that was in a different fighting game series, because he already got. They already got SNK with mm -hmm. Geese Howard. Mm -hmm. We already got Street Fighter with Akuma. Mm -hmm. What other fighting game franchise? You Narukami comes to Tekken 7. I'm sorry. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna come with his sword too in Persona? <laughs> nah, that's bullshit. I wouldn't dare. I wouldn't even dare wish that evil. <laughs> can, I say, can you imagine that? Him just throwing out his persona half screen. <laughs> Hold on, I'll be right back. I'll let the girls in. Alrighty. Then uh, um, I don't know. Let's say now if he if we go by like what Eddie just said, then yeah, it would be a female, a male, then another female, and I would go with Kunimitsu actually at that point if that was the case. Also, fucking Negan, right? <laughs> Like, Negan... Negan's not really a fighter. Then again, I've always heard this... Uh, the argument against Negan is, like, this game is, like, more Asian-based stuff, and he's westernized. I'm just like, are you kidding me? <laughs> That's, like, not even a reason. What is up, Retro Ninja? Welcome to the stream, my dude. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, YouTube chat, I, I am actually live streaming this as we go. I don't know if I'm going to keep doing these, but if you like them, I will do them. Um, 
but yeah, I don't know. This is going to be interesting. And I mean, I guess we can just go ahead to the end of this part because uh, we already know who it is. <laughs> yep. Oh yeah, Kuni meets it too. But yeah, that's what I was thinking. I, but I'm, I have doubt, I have doubts about uh, Kuni Me Too. Mm-hmm. So yeah, my final three would definitely be a Chang, Cosmo Kiryu, and Kuni Me Too. But I think I think they're gonna be they got that at this point they're going to be so pissed. The community's going to be so pissed from not having Cosmo Kiryu in the game, and it's just like that very last one. It's just like boom, Cosmo Kiryu. And he has a heat meter. That would be dope. See, I was thinking like Cosmic Kiryu. Like, he could almost be like a stance character, in my opinion, too, because of all the different stances he did, he does in the uh, the game. Well, you know what I mean by stances. You know, like, when they change into the different forms of fighting. That's not that... Oh, but I gotta tell you, that's not prevalent in all Yakuza games, though. Well, I know, but I, I believe it's in 6, right? No. Yakuza Is it not? Zero. Yakuza Zero is the only Yakuza game that I know of that incorporates different fighting styles the way it does. Well, because shit. You, <laughs> Yakuza that we that I, I guess you guys have seen me play all had one central fighting style, mm-hmm. but you could do different. You could do different enders, but like different ideologies behind the fighting stances are all different. Only in Yakuza Zero. Hmm. Well, shit. <laughs> well, sh- well, shit indeed. Mm-hmm. Well, screw my idea. <laughs> Y'all have a nice day. Well, <laughs> <No. laughs> um, I don't know. You, uh, Cosmic Iryu would be a very uh, interesting character to the game. And when he gets like into rage, instead of like the normal rage, he goes into his uh, what's it called? You just said it. <laughs> Heat. Heat. Yeah. There you go. Like I think like, that would be very cool. We have like three different rage uh, rage arts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> I mean, hell, Flay can have all those rage tries. Hmm. No, yeah, mm. I don't really have much to say about Negan because I mean it's Negan, so. <laughs> yeah, he's kind of like a self-explanatory hype character. <laughs> exactly. Although I will say it's very interesting to see some of the little backlash I've been seeing here and there, and I just. Their reasonings for it, I don't understand. It's and well, the reason, well, they probably don't like Negan for the same reason that you didn't like not this man. Probably. The only difference I'll say is that we're still getting legacy characters, though, unlike the other one where we just got knocked us out of the fucking nowhere <laughs> and that horrible season pass that they called the season pass. <laughs> I still yeah, can't believe true. they put bowling in there without online. Well, bowling, in its defense, was never online. I feel like it's online on the mobile game, though. Tekken Mobile has online bowling? Not Tekken Mobile, like the fighting Tekken Mobile, but there was an app like for Tekken Bowling. Oh, really? Uh, I feel like it had online. I could be wrong. Like I, I'm probably going to put that in post somewhere, but I'm pretty sure it had online. It is. I don't know. <laughs> so I just feel like that was just a weird little concept that they did. Like, why? Hey, Brandon's here. I can. I can be. I can agree with that. Hey, Brandon, what's up? Hmm. But uh, I think. I mean, there's really there not much to say about Negan other than like the reason he's there is to bring more new cl- bleh, new people to the game, which is gonna do. So many people are saying, "I'm just gonna try just for Negan." <laughs> Yeah, just like they did for Noctis. <laughs> he goes over well. He goes over well with an audience that don't play fighting games. Mm-hmm. And at the end of the day, at the end of the day, Tekken, Tekken, as long as it's li- is lived, it's lived the longest. It's the longest going fighting game franchise. But then they're mm-hmm. thinking, well, why not? Why don't we just tap into a different market? Get a movie star in there. Mm-hmm. Little pig, little pig, let me the fuck in. Mm-hmm. Also, it'd be Street Fighter would be the longest. <laughs> really? Yeah, Street Fighter was out before even Virtual Fighter, which was out before Tekken. <laughs> oh, well, fuck it. 
<laughs> it's fine. Tekken's the better game. Who shots fired? Uh, but no, I think we're good to go with this then. Um, but yeah, that's our thoughts on it. Let us know what you guys think down in the comment section below. And would you like to plug your stuff in, Mr. Maker? Nah, I'm good. Alrighty. Yeah, not, not this time, because we're already uploading it to our respective channels. We don't, I don't need to plug myself in my own video. Fair enough. Then, as always, ask yourself this one question. Does your soul still burn? Bye, YouTube channel. Have a blessed day. And that'll be it for that stuff. All right. The next, uh, the next video that we do together, we'll definitely do our own outros. But my outro is like, man, it is like plain as shit compared to yours. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's not a, like it's not even an outro, really. It's just me saying, "Hey, thank you for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and all that other gay shit." <laughs> I don't know about gay, but yeah, it works. <laughs> it works. It definitely works. <laughs> No. But at the same, but at the same time, at the same time, the very nature of my own gaming channel wouldn't allow me to use an an in, an, an outro that would be uh, centered around one game. Mm. Uh, I'm going to add. Actually, I'm going to do that later. But yeah, Graf has been asking to if he can voice chat with us or a bit. I'm going to add him for. Does it matter? Do you mind if it adds to our Discord? <laughs> Which Discord? Your the one the, your actual Discord or just the one that we run together? The one we run together. Man, fuck it. What more? Are you are you asking me it, to bring <laughs> another member? I don't fucking care. Yeah, um, Graf, I'm gonna add you after the stream to our Discord so that next time we can do like live chats and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. How dare you want to communicate with us? <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> this guy think he is wanting to communicate with us and shit want to talk to us and tell us hi and shit and want to support our send our dreams and shit what a motherfucker <laughs> right. no right son of a bitch <laughs> <laughs> well, now I am going to call the stream here thanks everybody for watching um, I will finish the Resident Evil other half Sunday yeah Sunday and I will catch you guys next time peace wait what, what's wait. up you know Tekken has a lot of brown girls in it, and I love it. But are they really brown, though? <laughs> yes, nigga, what? Like, I feel like Katarina might have a tan. <laughs> She's Brazilian. Still. <laughs> what do you mean, still? I don't know. Something if about Christy her. If Christy was in the game, you'd agree with me? Yes. Yes, I would. <laughs> and Christy is also Brazilian, you fuck. So why are you disagreeing with me? Because isn't, um, what's her name, adopted? Christy? Not Christy. Uh, Katarina. Katarina. I don't know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she's adopted in her story. Yeah. Oh, and I guess that just makes her 100% less Brazilian now, huh? Well, we don't know if her true origin is Brazilian. I'm just saying. <laughs> her true skin color is brown, and I'm good with that. And that could be tanned. You know how these women... You, these hoes ain't loyal. <laughs> you have a fair point. <laughs> In for a penny, though, my nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's my only retort. In for a penny and for a pound. <laughs> Turns out she's from England. Oh, fucking well. <laughs> Now, am I complaining that I wouldn't hit that? No. I mean, come on. <laughs> Have you seen those tits? <laughs> I don't... Why do you think Why do you think I put the penny down, huh? <laughs> come on. Come on, bro. All I'm saying is, there's some Smurfs out there. <laughs> S smurfing in real life. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs>